Whew. Ah, jeez, it's a. Uh, it's cold. I had to come into the bush here to get some shelter. I was out walking around and and uh, getting my trail cameras, and I thought, well, if I, uh, while I'm out today, I should do this uh, little review on this new product I got last year. It's called a firebox stove, and uh, I've used it a couple times already, and and I really like it. I, I just used it for uh, cooking sausage while we were on the on the ice uh, ice fishing, but. Today what I got is, uh, I'm going to pretend I'm in kind of a survival situation, even though I got my Beretta and, uh, and everything, it was easy enough to shoot this rabbit, but anyway, it'll give you an idea of, of how the thing works. It's got a, it's really handy how it folds up nice and compact, it's light and uh, folds right up into your pack. Comes with a nice little carrying pouch. And got these little, these uh, sticks for on top here to hold your, uh, whatever you got, frying. Today I brought a frying pan, but if you got a, a pot and you wanna cook or boil water or what have you, these little guys will uh, help it sit on top there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gather some uh, some brush and stuff and get this thing warming up and then uh, and then I'll be able to uh, get this rabbit cooking. And I'll just I'll skin the rabbit while I'm while I'm heating up the stove. But there, nice little nice little snowshoe hair should be perfect for uh, for cooking on this thing. It's I don't have any spices or anything, but I just got a frying pan and some snow. We'll basically just fry it in the water. But yeah, so there's my there's my meal. There's my method of cooking. And gonna get this thing fired up. Lots of bush around, lots of lots of dead twigs and stuff, so it shouldn't be hard. It's got lots of vent holes and stuff, so it makes it nice for circulating air. Really gets the fire going quick. Thing is, when you're when you're out in the bush like this, you really don't need a big fire to cook something. Just enough to. This would even, I mean, if you built a little shelter and had this running underneath your little lean-to, even when it's minus 30 like this, it would get enough heat going in there that it would help you survive anyway, keep you alive. Well, we'll just let that warm up and I'll get this rabbit cleaned up. Should be good eating. I'm not gonna fully skin this rabbit for this demonstration. I'm just gonna take a few chunks of meat off his back, back straps.
Nice chunks of meat. Looks like it's warm enough. All right, well, we got our little uh, little rabbit back straps here. Basically just gonna fry them with what we got, water and, and a little bit of fire. All right, let's test her out. Bon appetit. Could use a little salt, that's for sure. But not bad. Not bad for uh, getting the rabbit about half an hour ago, getting the fire going. Cooking it up. Especially on a day like today when it's like, like they said, I'm gonna uh, cook a little more. Like they said, it was minus 50 with the wind chill. And uh, And yeah, so that's that's basically how the firebox stove works. There's all kinds of little accessories you can get. Little five inch frying pans and uh, carrying kits, little cookware sets, stuff like that. I just got the basic one and it does what I need it to do. It, it's great when you're, uh, when you wanna pack light and, and you, well, here in Saskatchewan, I mean, there's no shortage of, of wood really, so it's easy enough to get a fire going and uh, get a quick meal cooked. I'd rather eat it this way than eating a rabbit raw. Um, if you're stuck out in the bush snowmobiling up north, you got stuck. This thing's easy enough to have uh, folded up in the back of your sled and get get a fire going within within 10 minutes keep you alive keep you warm and uh, keep you fed with warm food as long as you can find it that's the hardest part is is getting the food cooking it well as you can see it's as easy as she gets so that's a firebox stove hope you enjoyed I'm gonna eat the rest of this rabbit and head back home.